Hey kiddos, welcome to the chemistry laboratory today. We're gonna do um, a simple lab today. We're gonna find the density of four different things, a, a sample of distilled water, um, a sample of some blue salt water, um, some glass beads. We'll find the density of those glass beads there, I hope, and a nice pretty block of wood. So let's just get right to it. Remember there are two things you need to know to find the density of something, it's mass, and it's volume, those two things, mass and volume, it's the ratio of mass to volume of a sample. So we're gonna start with a small graduated cylinder, a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, and we're gonna find its mass empty. I wanna find the density of a liquid, I certainly can't pour that or dump that liquid on an electronic balance pan, can I? I need to have a container to hold that liquid in. So what better container to use than a graduated cylinder? Because not only can we use it to contain the liquid, but we can also use it to find the volume of the liquid at the same time. Isn't that nice? So let's put the empty graduated cylinder on our balance pan and we'll read the display. And it looks like it says 25.38 grams empty, 25. 0.38 grams. Now I want to put some distilled water in here. So I have some distilled water and we'll just squirt some inside our graduated cylinder. And that seems to be a good amount right there. Let's go ahead and weigh it with the distilled water in there. And by difference, we should be able to find the mass of our distilled water. Looks like that says 33.99 grams. 33.99 grams. Now, of course, the next thing is to find the volume of my distilled water. So, like I said, we can read the graduated cylinder to do that. Now, remember, you're allowed to estimate one digit. So, we're going to get nice and close and try to get as level as we possibly can. Let me put this actually up just a little bit for you. So, we can maybe get the camera lens level with my meniscus in my graduated cylinder. So I'm gonna put a white background here. It's gonna be a lot easier to read that way. So go ahead and take a look and see if you can read the volume of the liquid in that cylinder. It looks like it's between eight and nine milliliters. Wouldn't you agree? So go ahead and take a reading. You can pause the video if you need to. It shouldn't take you too much longer. All righty. So you have the mass of your water and you should be able to find the volume of the water and then be able to calculate the density of your water. All right, let's go ahead and we can pour the distilled water right down the sink and let's do the same thing now for our uh, blue salt water solution. Now, we already know the mass of this cylinder empty, don't we? <laughs> we just found it a few minutes ago, didn't we? So let's go ahead and put some blue salt water in here and find its um, mass with the blue salt water in there. There we go. Does that seem like about enough to you? All right. So I'll place this on our balance pan. And the mass of the blue salt water solution is 35.26. That's what the blue salt water plus the graduated cylinder's mass. 35. To six. So now we'll need to find the volume just like we did for our distilled water. So I'll move this up just a little bit so it can get level with the lens of the camera. And just give me a second, I'll put that white background on there for you. And we'll rotate this so I hope we can read this volume. So there's our white background. Looks to me like it's between nine and 10 milliliters. Wouldn't you guys agree? And go ahead and Read the volume of the blue salt water solution. All right, let's just, there we go, that looks better. Okay. All right, next up will be our glass beads. So we need to know two things about these glass beads to find their density, the mass and the volume. Mass is really simple. I'm gonna do six glass beads. That's a nice little thought question. Would one glass bead have the same density as six glass beads? Why am I doing six? Why don't I just do one? Would it make a difference if I did a dozen or 15? Hmm, think about that. So let's place these in the balance to get their mass. <clears throat> it 
looks like the six beads have a mass of 18.59 grams. 18.59 grams for those beads. Now, we need to find their volume, don't we? We're gonna do that by water displacement. So we'll take a graduated cylinder that's larger than our 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. We'll put some water in there. Uh, that's probably enough right there. And we'll need to take an initial uh, volume measurement with my water and my graduated cylinder. This is without the glass beads, kiddos. So here we go. Put my little white background here for you. Let's dip that over. And it looks like it's between 50 and 60 mils. Can you guys get a nice reading there? All righty. Let's add my glass beads. And I want to do that at an angle so I don't splash that water out. And we'll add all six because didn't we find the mass of six? So we better add all six to find the volume of all six. Okay, and we've been added. Well, I'll be darned, the water level went up. That shouldn't be a surprise. Let's go ahead and take a, a final volume measurement with uh, uh, the, uh, the glass beads inside the graduated cylinder. Looks like it's a little bit above 60. Okay. All righty. Last up is our block of wood. Um, we need to know two things to find the density of this block of wood, its mass and its volume. So the mass is the easy part. We'll place that on our balance pan. And it looks like it is 40.41, for, sorry, 44.41 grams, 44.41 grams. Now, how do we find its volume? Well, first of all, I can't do it by water displacement. It doesn't fit in the graduated cylinder. And even if it did, its density is less than the water, so it would float in there. So that wouldn't help me too much. How could I find the volume of a rectangular solid? Oh, I could find its length, width, and height, couldn't I? And multiply length, width, and height together to find volume. So I'm gonna use the centimeter side of this ruler. Let's find the length first. I'm gonna line the ruler up with the zero mark of the ruler at the edge of the block of wood. And I'd like you to take your first measurement. It's between seven and eight. Be as accurate as you can, kiddos. Okay, let's measure the height next. All right. So it looks like it's between three and four. Once again, measure that as accurately as you can. And then finally it's width. So I'll rotate that just a little bit, lining up with the zero mark on my ruler, keeping it as level as possible. And go ahead and take your final measurement. This would be the width, kiddos. All right, you've got the length, the width, and the height and you've got the mass of your block of wood, you should be able to find its density now. Okay, uh, fill out the lab report. There are some questions at the end you need to complete as well and get that back into me. So have a great day. It's good to be with you. See you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.